Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Have I got a NYX and Barbie haul to share with you guys today. All of these goodies dropped online and in store on the Ulta Beauty website. They also dropped, I think it was yesterday or Friday. It was Friday on the NYX website, the PR box. You can buy the PR box on the Ulta Beauty website online only. And of course, over on the NYX website. And today's video is going to be a very special video because I am going to give you guys, one of you lucky winners out there, the chance to win the entire NYX Barbie PR box. I bought everything individual so I could try out for you guys right now in store at my local Ulta. But this give giveaway is specifically for four years of Steph's beauty stash. My anniversary happened while I was at the Turks and Caicos. I didn't get a chance to post about it, but hey, we're doing a giveaway today. So I just want to thank you guys so, so much for allowing me to be on this platform for the last four years. Your love, your support, your comments, everything, guys, your time especially, I am incredibly grateful for. I am ready to dive into this entire NYX by Barbie collection. If you guys want to see all these goodies in action, keep on watching. Now I am currently in the process of doing a foundation wear test. As requested, you guys wanted to see me do a wear test over the new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. The shade I picked up is shade three. I think it is a beautiful shade match. You guys will probably see this NYX video go up before you see the Danessa Myricks video, but definitely stay tuned for that because you guys know I cannot pass up trying a new foundation. But let's start with what this video is is about and it's all about NYX and Barbie. So I already have one of the lipsticks on. The shade that I have on is Perfect Day Pink. They had the entire collection front and center in store at my local Ulta. This is a lip cream and I love the color. So there were two different lip creams available. This is one of them. I'll be changing into the second one. The second one is called Dream House Pink. And let me just show you what it looks like. I'll change into that probably when I do the second look because I think I'm, there's two eyeshadow palettes in here so I'm going to be doing uh, two different looks today. We're also getting the uh, It's a Barbie Party Butter Gloss. Let's add the gloss to this. I love the, the NYX lip creams. I also love their butter glosses. Is there a scent to this? Not really. It's a pleasant scent but it's not a strong scent. I was kind of hoping it smelled a little bit like cotton candy, but nah, not really much of a scent. Love this pink though, and I am like decked out in pink. Nails, pedicure, the works. I knew I was going to be reviewing this collection. Guys, there's a lot of cute things, so check this out. This is the little uh, mirror, and it's in the form of a flip phone. Like, the 90s are here. They're making a comeback, and I'm all for it. I grew up, I was born in 82, but, you know, I grew up in the 90s. I was a high school student, middle school student in the 90s, so I remember the 90s more than I remember the 80s. But how cute is this little flip phone? We would open it up. Up and it is a two-sided mirror. Is one of them magnification? Yes. So this top, top part is magnified and this top uh, bottom part is uh, not magnified. So I think that is really cute. This right here, this is tiny, but that's okay. I don't mind. This is the um, greetings from Barbie Land and this is the cheek palette. So it looks like we're getting two blushes and a highlighter in here. Let me Let's see, let me open this up. Yes, there is stickers. I hate when they put stickers, but I understand why they put stickers. Um, they had a really cute display. I forgot to take a picture of it. I was just like in and out real quick, but these are what the two blush shades look like. And then of course the highlighter in the middle. Cute, love the packaging. Okay, this is one of the eyeshadow palettes, cassette tapes. How many of you guys remember recording your favorite songs off of the radio on your boom box? I am totally guilty of that. Like this is just all 
nostalgia. Like you might really want to pick this up because you're a collector of all things Barbie or just because it tugs on your heartstrings when it comes to the 90s. Look at this. What is this right here? This is like a clear, oh, it's a clear butter gloss that's attached to the little cassette tape. And this is an eyeshadow palette. The lip gloss fell off. I'll pick it up right now. But here is the eyeshadow palette. I'll do one look with this palette. I also picked up the jumbo eye pencils, the eye crayons. These are really good. This is a really good formula. It's good to lay down as a base and then you can add shadows on top of it. Or you can, of course, use these in the waterline. It's a pink and blue. I think it goes perfectly with the collection. And last but not least, we're getting, I think this is a, another, it's called, it's a Barbie party what is this? This looks kind of like it's maybe, let me get my scissors. It looks like it's going to be a bronzer in here. Let's check this out. I thought there were two different eyeshadow palettes. This could be, oh look, it has another little butter gloss attached to it. How cute is this packaging? Yes. I knew it. It was another eyeshadow palette. So I'll be creating two looks, one with each palette. I already have the lipstick and one of the butter glosses on, and I am ready to dive into this collection. Let's start first with the little cheek palette. Now, there's no bronzer in here, but you know what? I do have a NYX bronzer. Let me go grab it. That way I can at least bronze up my forehead and my nose, and then we'll apply the cheek palette. So I'm going in with my BK 111, and this is the matte bronzer from NYX. I picked this up not too long ago. Uh, I just did a NYX haul, like right before I left on vacation. They released some new eyeshadow palettes. They were small 16 pan eyeshadow palettes. There were four of them. I picked up three out of the four. I know I didn't do swatches in those videos, but I promise you guys, I will do swatches and I will post them here on YouTube in the community section or I'll do a YouTube short or something like that so you guys can see the swatches in case you are interested in picking up those palettes. They are the ultimate palettes and they are really, really good. Okay, so just a little warmth to the complexion. Now we're going to dive into the little cheek palette. I'm going to use a Beach Cosmetics brush. I think I'm going to start, I'll start with this shade right here. Start placing that right here on top of the cheekbones. Maybe I can incorporate both of them since this seems to be a lighter shade. That's like a soft. Oh, there's pigment. No, never mind. There's a lot of pigment in this, but it is buildable. Okay, so I think that looks really pretty, really natural. Now I'm going to go in with my Refer 04 and this hot pink shade. Start placing that over here. And guys, I will give you more details regarding the giveaway towards the end of the video. But of course, you can always check the description box because everything is always in there. And again, this is to celebrate four years of Steph's Beauty Stash. I think that is a beautiful pink. I think these are two nice neutral shades. And I think they can definitely be layered with one another. I kind of feel like that's what I want to do, but no, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. That way you can see what the difference is. But I think you can clearly see a little bit more neutral peachy on this side and definitely more pink on this side. All right, now I'm going to take my Nabla highlighter brush and I'm going to dip into the highlight here going to be like a golden highlight. Oh, that's pretty. You don't see like glitter. It's, it's smooth. It's I wouldn't say it's the smoothest of highlighters, but it's cute. Okay, loving this. So far, I think we're off to a really good start. Love the way the cheeks look. Okay. All right. Now we're going to dive into the eyeshadow palette. Um, let's see. 
I have this one in front of me first. Let's do this one. This one is called Turn Up the Ken Energy. And I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches. That way you could see what this looks like. But this is a really cute little six pen palette. I think I'm going to do this one on the left side since I have the pink blush over here. And we have some more pink tones in this one. So I guess I'm going to start, hmm. What do I want to do? I think I'll do this yellow. I'll focus it on the inner corner and then I'll work my way into these two shades like towards the outer corner and we can leave the blue. The blue for the lower lash line. I can do the shimmer like on the center and the gold maybe for the inner corner. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. So I'm taking that yellow shade on a BK207. And I did prime my eyelids already with my Sugar Drizzle eyeshadow primer. Don't forget that Sugar Drizzle just recently had a launch. They launched some new uh, multi-chrome shadow sticks and some multi-chrome lipsticks. So if you guys want to get anything over at Sugar Drizzle, you are welcome to use my affiliate code, STEF10. That will give you 10% off of your order. This is a beautiful yellow. I can see this yellow like all over the lid and then just put the gold and then be done. And maybe the blue on the lower lash line and call it a day. But I wanna try and use every single shade in both of these little eyeshadow palettes. I love the size of them. I think the size, everything. I think it is so cute with the packaging. Um, this really caught my attention. I have a friend right now who's in New York City and the Barbie Cafe uh, specifically for the movie just opened this weekend so I told her you better go check it out and take some pictures for me because I was I knew I was going to be reviewing this collection um, on my BK211 I'm going to go in with this pink shade right here and I'm going to focus that right in here why does my brush feel wet? I think I touched my Diet Coke can. Bring that down a little bit. I'm not too sure when the movie comes out. I think it's coming out. Is it next weekend? It's coming out really soon. I remember I saw like pictures when they were filming on Instagram and Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie, I think is Barbie. They all look so cute, like in their little outfits and stuff. I think it's going to be a really cute movie. Same brush. Now I'm going to go in with this shadow here. And I'll focus this towards the outer corner. That's cute. And that's blending out really well. And go back in with that first pink shade to blend a little bit more. All right, so before I add any shimmer, I want to do the lower lash line. I want to use that blue shadow. Now I'm going to take that on a BK204. And I have a NYX eyeliner that is going to match perfectly with the shadow. I love that. That's easy. That's This is an easy palette to work with. Okay, now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this gold shade right here. And I'm taking that on a Refer 03, but I am going to spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus. Perfect little inner corner highlight. Now we're going to go in with this final shade on my Morphe M124. I am going to spray it. I'm going to apply that right here to the center. Ooh, how fun does that look? I'm going to add a little bit more of the yellow back. I feel like that kind of got lost a little bit in the mix. There we go. 
All right, guys, I am going to do a little bit of finishing touches off camera. I'm going to try and use like as many NYX products as I can, minus, of course, the foundation and stuff. But uh, I'll be right back to show you the completed look with this is the Turn Up the Ken Energy Palette. Okay guys, so here is a completed look. I forgot to tell you guys that there were lashes. I picked up lashes and they come in this cute little package right here. Here is what they look like. I did trim them down a little bit, but they have some pink to them. The mascara I'm wearing is from NYX. It is the On The Rise mascara. That's what I'll be using in today's video. And I utilized the blue lip uh crayon what are they called uh this is the ken from the what is this called ken jumbo eye pencil and so i use that for the lower water line i'm glad i remembered to use these because sometimes i forget to use them but i have the pink one left to use and i'm glad i remembered the lashes too but i love the look i think it was so quick and easy to create very barbie-esque Let's move over to the right eye now. Usually I start with the right eye. Today I started with the left. Uh, but now we're going to start working with the It's a Barbie Party palette. And I will change into a, a different, the other lip gloss or lipstick. Well, no, what is it? The butter, buttercream and uh, lipstick um, after I create this look. So what are we going to do here with this one? Um, I love this pink sparkle. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. I'll save this one for the brow bone, but I'm going to do this in the lid. These two, like um, in the crease, I should say, use this one, even though it's kind of like a, is that a matte? No, it's a matte. I'll use this to deepen up the outer corner and then we'll do the pink. We'll do the pink on the lid. We'll keep the gold again for the inner corner and this will be for the brow bone. So I'm going in with a BK212 and that peach shade first. Okay, that shade is blending out really easily. Now on a rougher 14, I'm gonna go in with this tan shade. Put that right here in the crease. Same brush. Now I'm going to go in with this purple shade and focus that out here. I think this is the more neutral palette of the two. Go figure. The Barbie is the more neutral and the Ken is more vibrant. Yeah, these are blending really well. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try the pink stick the pink crayon and I'm going to apply that right here. I'm going to use that as a base for the hot pink sparkle. Nick sells a white crayon like this and that's a really good option for those of you that are um, like to work with neon colors. I'm going back in with that darkest shade just to kind of blend this right here but um, that's a really nice option or um, instead of buying an eyeshadow primer or like a cream shadow, get that NYX crayon. I know my friend Deb from Vinyl Beauty, she uses that white NYX crayon a lot. That just adds a lot of vibrancy, especially to neon shadows. Now we're going to go in with this beautiful pink shimmer. I'm using my damp Morphe M124. And that crayon allows it to have somewhat of a sticky base so that it can act as a primer in case you don't have a glitter primer hander, handy, which I do recommend the NYX glitter primer. It is fantastic. Love this. Ooh, so much fun. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to go back in with this brown shade and then we're going to do the gold for the inner corner and we'll do this shade again for the brow bone. I'm using a BK A504. I'm 
Now I'm going in with that copper gold shade on a damp refer 03. Bring that down a little bit. I think we can even use that pink crayon in the waterline. What do you guys think? I'm going to clean that brush off because I'm going to use it for that like bone color shade right here. This one. Just a little bit here on the brow bone. And now I have to go off camera, add the other falsy, finishing touches. I think I will do the pink crayon in the lower waterline. I'll be right back to show you the completed look and I'm gonna change into the other lip cream. All right guys, so here's the completed look number two. I did add that pink crayon to the lower waterline. Lash, uh, I did tight line with this uh, Sugar Drizzle eyeliner. It's just a black eyeliner. And I forgot to mention this when I created this eye look. I did tight line with this one from Moira Cosmetics up here on the top lash line. It's just a hot pink liner. This one is in the shade number 17 hot pink. Go figure. Uh, I did change into the second lip cream. This is the dream house one. What is it? A uh, dream house pink. I want to try the little lip gloss that is attached to the uh, Barbie palette. This is the butter lip gloss. This one is in the shade tiramisu. How cute is it? Look at how tiny. Just add a little bit. Not that I think this needs it. This is a pretty comfortable formula. The NYX lip creams. That's perfect. Okay, guys. I've officially used everything in this new NYX and Barbie collection. Let me go ahead and share with you guys my final thoughts and give you guys some giveaway details. So I think you guys know already how I feel about this Barbie collection. I mean, it is absolutely adorable. The little mirror that's a flip phone, one is magnified, the other is regular. Too cute. The little palettes, I love that they're mini size palette. I think the Ken one though is my favorite just because I feel like it's the more colorful one of the two. I love the combination of pink and blue together. I think it is so cute. I've always been a fan of the NYX uh, uh, butter glosses and then of course we have the lip gloss over here. I already tried that The crayons are great You can put them in their waterline or you can do it the way I did here put it on the lid and then maybe put a shimmer on top of it It'll adhere better to it that way. I thought that the little face palette was absolutely adorable I have pink on this side. I have the peach on this side the highlighter. I think it's perfect I just think they did a really cute job with this entire collection. So it is getting two thumbs up from me. I know any of you who buy this or one of you lucky winners out there who is going to receive the PR box that I ordered, which should be coming in very soon this week. Um, you guys are going to be over the moon with it, especially if you are a fan of Barbie. All right. So now let me tell you how you are going to win the Barbie and NYX PR box. Like all my giveaways are, this is an international giveaway that is void where prohibited. The winner is assumes all taxes, duties, and fees associated with final delivery. I pay to ship it to you guys. And if you need to pay anything else to get it to your home, that is going to be up to you. And that's mainly for my international winners, which I have had a few in the past. So just take note of that. And again, please check the description box for all of the details. This giveaway starts today on June the 25th, and it is going to close Sunday, July the 2nd at 6 p.m. CST. The way I do all of my giveaways is I do a Google form that you're going to need to fill out with just basic contact information. For example, your name, your mailing address, what country you live in. If you have an Instagram name, I will also DM you over on Instagram. But the way I'm going to get in contact with you to let you know that you are the winner is through email. So make sure that you are checking your email. Those of you that enter uh, on or around uh, 6 p.m. on July the 2nd. And you'll know it's me because I'm going to ask you a couple questions 
you're gonna know it's me and not some bot or spammer or whatever it is. I also want you guys to know that I am not responding to any comments left in today's video. I will heart all of the comments. I will give them a heart, a like, but that is about it. And that is to avoid all of the spammers that are here on YouTube. Unfortunately, they ruin our giveaways sometimes, but be safe online. I am not going to ask you to contact me. I am not going to ask you to WhatsApp me. None of that. I will be in contact with you through the email that you leave in the Google form. And if you leave an Instagram name, I will DM you there as well. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I think that is about it. I am so happy that I can do this giveaway for you guys. You all are going to get the full PR box. I haven't put a picture of it. Here is a picture of what you guys are going to be getting. Um, it's a beautiful PR package. I was going to keep it for myself, but because these things showed up in store at Ulta, I was like, you know what? Let's do a giveaway in honor of my four year anniversary here on YouTube. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for helping me get to this point and may luck be with you all let me know what you thought of the collection which look was your favorite are you team ken are you team barbie are you team none i hope not but leave it all in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water and i'm gonna see you all very soon bye